couple of months ago, I made a video showing how to make this Indian blanket design feature ring. I've got a couple of these segments left over. They've been just laying around, and I think I'm going to do something with them now. It seems a shame to just leave them sitting in the shop. So I'm going to see if I can make a small bowl or something out of them. So stick around and let's take a look and see what I come up with. You can see that these two feathers don't line up quite perfectly. And that's why this segment was not used in the feature ring. However, I think it'll be all right in a small bowl and that's what I'm going to make out of this. Now I want the center point to be right on this joint and midway between the two ends. It measures 3 and 31 30 seconds or 2 and 63 30 seconds, so half of that is 1 and 63 60 fourths. I will mark that. And that should give me the exact center. I'll use a scratch all to make a small divot there, so I can use the live center of the tail stock to line this up when I put it on a glue block. I'm going to use this glue block that I threaded with the Beal spindle tap. Now I will bring the tail stock up with the live center, putting it right on the center mark I've made and jamming it home. And now I'm going to use hot melt glue. I've given this quite a while to heat up, so it should be good and hot. I'm just going to put a bead around the outside all the way around. I'm going to give that glue plenty of time to cool and set and then I will start the turning. Now I have to keep in mind this is not a perfect square. This dimension is about an eighth of an inch greater than this dimension. Now I'm going to start hauling this out a little bit. I think this is going to look all right. Bit of a split right here. Hoping that will turn away because it was not visible on the other side. I am marking a circle to indicate the largest dimension I want to use for the inside of the bowl. I'm going to check the depth on this now. Make sure it won't too deep. Well, 
just about halfway through. That's not too bad. I'll go a little deeper than that yet. As usual, I'm being very careful to not let my hands go beyond the tool rest. There could be some bad words said and a lot of pain. I think I'm going to taper these or curve these wings over a little bit. I'm going to put a shallow straight recess inside here so that I can reverse this onto a jam chuck and then work on the bottom a little bit. When using this, to be sure that I get this parallel with the bedways, I'm sighting down along this against the bedways to make sure that it's parallel. Now I'm going to try doing a little bit more hollowing here and leave that edge straight. This crack is turning out to be quite significant. So I'm going to take this off. I have some walnut dust I've saved. I'm going to try filling that, putting a little CA glue in it, and hopefully that will repair that. Then I'll be back. I've filled it now with walnut dust and thin CA glue, giving it some time to dry. And I'm going to use a round nose scraper now just to try to clean this up and bring it around without taking off this straight edge that's in here. I'm going to sand inside here now and on the outside and the top, trying real hard not to mess up this straight edge I've got just inside here for about a quarter of an inch. I have it all sanded to 400 grit now on the top, the inside, and around these sides. Now I'm just going to lock the spindle lock, take this chisel, 
and try to take this off the glue block. steady pressure I should be able to just push it off there we go now I'll fabricate a, a jam chuck to put this on to reverse it and work on the back side while sanding this and trying to blend in the straight edge with the curve I ruined the straight edge to the point where I don't think it'll fit on a jam chuck very readily. So what I'm going to do is chamfer the edge of this glue block until this just fits over it, bring the tail stock up to hold it in place, and then put hot glue around the edge again to hold it while I clean up the back side. And I think that might just do it. Well, it's not perfect, but I believe it's close enough. I'm going to put some hot glue on there now. And after that's had plenty of time to cool, I'll come back and see what I can do about shaping the bottom a bit. I'm going to use a 15 16 inch Forstner bit to make a recess to fit my logo coin into. And that should be good right there. Now I'll just clean up this surface just a little bit first thing. I want to make sure that the four feet are going to be a little lower than where the logo coin is in the center. I need to bring it down to just a little more in the center. I think that's looking good. I'll just make the recess a little deeper now. I'll just put a couple drops of thick CA glue on the back of the logo coin and glue it in place. tailstock to push this dowel against it and hold it in place. Give it a few minutes to cure. Now I'd like to see if I could just push this off of there, that hot glue. I have my doubts. Now 
Now I just need to scrape the glue off around here. Maybe give it a slight touch up with some 400 grit sandpaper. And then it should be finished. I intend to just coat it with some tongue oil. So I'll clean this up and then I'll be back. I have two segments left over. I've turned them both. I only showed you the one. The biggest difference between the two to start with is that I cut the angle off, made it 90 degrees here. I had them cut at the angle to fit into the feature ring. I left this one like that. I kind of like it better actually just from the view. Now if you have any questions on how to make the Indian blanket design, I have a video for that and I'm going to put a link in the description box down below the video so you can check that out if you like. I also have a video on how to do the threaded glue block. I'll put a link to that one as well if you like. So I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making them, but then I'm turning, so why wouldn't I? Thank you for watching. Have a great day in your shop. Enjoy yourself and be safe. Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe. Have a great day.